Today, we're going to test 10 supermarket chocolates and determine how good or bad they are for you. Dark chocolate is good for cognitive function and heart health and many other things. What you wanna look for is flavanols. On the bad side, they can be high in heavy metal content. The problem is companies don't tell you the heavy metals in the chocolate can cause cancer, high blood pressure, kidney disease, and low sperm count. Stuff you don't want. Now, to reveal these 10 chocolate bars, I'm going to hand it over to game show host Brian. Welcome to my game show. Today, we're going to show you good and terrible chocolate. Let's get started with our 10 contestants. Now, the way we've scored this is we've done a ratio of good stuff to bad stuff. Good stuff are the flavanols, bad stuff are the heavy metals. The higher the number, the better. Let's see what contestant number one is going to bring. Lint chocolate. Now I've seen this everywhere. I'm sure you have too. All over the world actually. 70% cocoa, it's excellence. Exceptional cocoa flavor. So they do promise a lot. Let's open this up and let's see what it tastes like. Now, I did receive permission from Blueprint Brian that we save some extra calories for today so I could nibble on the chocolate, but only nibble to avoid excess heavy metals. It feels like it's wrapped in a heavy metal. Okay. <laughs> Smells delicious. Yep, tastes nice. Let's see how this scores. Lint chocolate, 175 milligrams in flavanols and heavy metals, 4.5 micrograms. For a score of 39. Not very impressed. Contestant number two, who do we have here? Not just good, beyond good. Pure dark Madagascar, 100% traceable, 70% cocoa, pure dark. All right, that's a big promise. Let's see. This chocolate protects 89 species of plants and animals, including five types of extremely adorable <laughs> lemurs. So like, I get it. They're trying to be useful in the world. Also, what the situation of the chocolate is, here we go. It's okay. <laughs> All right, let's look at the score. Beyond Good is 84 milligrams in flavanols, not a good start. And Heavy Metals, 4.6 micrograms of a score, 18. Not great. Not a good score. Let's reposition this guy. This is the new worst. Lint, you're now better than the worst. Good job. Contestant number three. Now, let's see what we have here. Tony's Chocoloni. All right, dark chocolate, 70%. All right, Tony's Chocoloni. They wrapped it in a golden wrapper like Charlie the Chocolate Factory chocolate bar. Wow, this is thick. Damn, boy. Damn, boy, he's thick, boy. This is a brick. I guess it's a gold brick of chocolate. They're all the same. <laughs> like, there's no difference. This has like a little bit more of a buttery fill, but. All right, Tony's, what do you got here for us? Flavanols, 218 milligrams. Heavy, ooh, heavy metals, 5.9 micrograms. Not good, Tony's. Score, 37. Well, I guess this is good news for Lint. You were in. Last place, now you're in third place. Contestant number four. What do we have? Ritter Sport Dark, Cho Dark Hole Hazelnuts with Crunchy Roasted Hazelnuts. 100% Certified Cocoa Sourcing. What does that mean? Let's try it. Is my grip strength below par? Here we are. Well, I mean, that's an attractive bar. Same. <laughs> four in, I just can't tell the difference. Let's see, flavanols come in at 132 milligrams and heavy metals, 2.3 micrograms. Good job. Score, 57. Good job, that's the highest number yet. This guy's gonna be pretty sad. Next, contestant, one, two, three. Contestant number five. Alter Eco, restores forests, total blackout. This is 100% cacao and these have all been 70% so far so this is an exciting situation what does 100% taste like getting better opening these packages 
Oh, this is really nice and silky. It's clean. Look at that. It's a clean bar. Yep. Definitely 100%. It doesn't have the buttery, sugary taste the others had. Yeah, this is just pure cocoa beans and organic cocoa butter. So they have a very clean label. I'm excited to see how this scored because I like this. It's just pure. Flavanols, 211 milligrams. Heavy metal, whoa, heavy metals, 14.7 micrograms. Oh man, that's bad news, 14. We gotta move this guy down. So worth pausing just for a moment and imagine you're in the, at the grocery store, you're looking through the chocolates, you see this one has two ingredients, no sugar, it's a clean label, it's 100% dark chocolate. You think, I know dark chocolate's good for me. You grab it and then you know 14 micrograms of heavy metals, that's just really not a good situation. Contestant number six. This is Theo Fairtrade. Extra dark, 85% dark chocolate. Looks like cocoa beans, cane sugar, cocoa butter, ground vanilla bean. All right. All right, for the score, Theo, 164 milligrams of flavanols and 11 micrograms of heavy metals. That's not good, that might be second worst. Score, 15. Yep, second place. Contestant number seven. Lily's extra dark chocolate. 70% stevia sweetened, dark and rich. I have to be honest, I'm getting a little bit of a stomach ache. I think my body's asking what's up. Let's see what Lily's has. 170 milligrams of flavanols and 4.9 micrograms of heavy metals. Probably scored pretty well. 39, yep. Better than, so it's a tie with lint. But just one little adjustment this time. I wonder if they have the same supplier. Contestant number eight. You are a bad boy. Turn the music on, baby. I feel hypnotized. How to taste an exotic chocolate bar. Breathe and see, close your eyes, smell. Bite into the chocolate and hear a crisp, ringing pop. Taste and experience the deep, roasted aroma of the dark chocolate. Hmm. Okay, let's do this. You know what were the instructions again? This is like undressing. They made chocolate consumption a sexual experience. About the same. Let's see how Vosges did. 159 milligrams of flavanols and two micrograms of heavy metals for a score of 78. Good job, Vosges. Number one so far, well done. Contestant number nine, the competition's pretty intense. What do we have here? Hugh, I've seen this guy in the supermarket. This is probably the most commonly consumed chocolate I've seen my friends eat. Get back to human, simple dark chocolate, 70% cocoa, vegan, paleo, no refined sugars, no cane sugar, no sugar alcohols, no erythritol. It's time to get back to the way humans ate before industry ruined food. All right, so they are on a mission. They are revolutionaries. All right, Hugh, let's see what you've got. That's pretty good. Now the score, flavanols, 261 milligrams. It's pretty good. Heavy metals, 5.4 micrograms. It looks like it's on the high side for a score of 48. All right, not the worst, but not the best. It's gonna place it in between Lily's and Ritter Sports. Now for the big reveal, contestant number 10. This is it all you got, old man. And I'm right-handed. Interesting, same brand as the one currently in last place. Yeah, I'm chopping it out. <laughs> I can't eat anymore. Flavanols, 141 milligrams. Uh-oh, heavy metals, 10.6 micrograms for a score of 13, yikes. 
What we've learned today is several things. One, marketing and packaging mean nothing. It does not matter what they say. It doesn't matter how what words they use, what, how pretty their pictures are, it does not matter. Second is not knowing is very dangerous. We've now looked at 10 popular supermarket brands and scored them on good stuff and bad stuff. I have one more for you. Blueprint Coco. Because I learned how dirty the food supply was, I started sourcing my own food, including cocoa because of its benefits. Now to give you context, this is not an apples to apples comparison because this is a powder, these are bars. However, if we look at the score, this has 537 milligrams of flavanols and 2.9 of heavy metals. If we were to give it a number, it'd be 180, over double the number one position. This is why it's so important to know what you're eating and to have quantified data on the cleanliness and the positive benefits. As always, I don't care if you buy from me. I'll give you the resources to go out and buy your own. I'll share the data with you. I want you to be healthy and happy. If Blueprint can be part of that, great. If not, do your thing. Now, a last note on the companies that we tested. This is not a takedown. This is not to shame them. This is just simply to say transparency in our food supply chain is a good thing for everybody. Nobody wins when our food supply is dirty. Nobody wins when we're unhealthy. It's time we change the world from a die economy to a don't die economy. Be well.